Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 20th, 2021. Oh my goodness, we have a little bit of pain in the market today. As I was warning on Friday um, and the week before, um, uh, the possible default of Evergrande in China, that looks like that has come to roost here this morning with a ugly, ugly overnight reversal. And those who bought on Friday um, are likely going to feel the pinch. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, let's uh, settle in, let's buckle up, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. And oh my goodness, we have a wild morning setting up for us today. Looking at this chart, as you can see, the pre-market candle here on the Dow, uh, that's a nasty looking candle um, right now. And we're looking at a gap down um, currently of more than 500 points. As a matter of fact, we're kind of heading um, toward 600 points um, at the moment in this gap down. So pretty ugly chart. And this is the thing that I've been talking about and worried about um, kind of protecting myself and doing some hedging and things in the market. And as you can see, we're getting a substantial uh, dump out here today. And unfortunately, it's really going to be very, very punishing for those who bought into the market heading into the weekend. Um, as you can see, we're gapping down into some price support, maybe down in here in that chart. And we're pushing down, I suspect, let me just push a line down in here. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see if we um, test that level here before we kind of shake all of this out this morning. So watch that carefully. And now we've created substantial damage um, in the Diamonds Index. If you notice here, we're going to have created a tremendous amount of resistance levels above in the chart. And that's going to be relatively damaging um, to these indexes. Now, let's take a look here. We have a trend right through here. We've given up that trend um in this breakdown now of course we can always get some kind of an energy move to bounce back up and bounce back up into these resistance levels in the chart we've certainly seen that before but this one may be just a little bit different uh, because of the pain of this trade now let's take a look at our moving averages and as i was mentioning before um last week that we had our eight exponential breaking down below the 50 day. We had our 50 day starting to flatten out. We have our 34 crossing down and our 20 is getting close to crossing down through that 50 day. So even if we catch a bounce back guys, we're going to run into a significant level of price resistance in this zone, which really could change uh, the dynamics of the market here quite a bit. Notice that that downtrend is in play. So this is not going to resolve itself probably really quickly. We're going to have a lot of work to try and build enough confidence to come back up. And if we can't find that confidence to come back up, notice how, that we're kind of floating out here in midair between the 50 and the 200. So it is entirely possible, and I know no one wants to hear this, but it is entirely possible that we don't get enough energy here. We just rest and then continue that move right on down to the 200 day moving average um, in the chart. And unfortunately, that wouldn't be, if I go to the Dow, that wouldn't be enough to really create the full correction. Notice from the high up here, if we see the 200 day moving average, that's only six, 6.8 percent we're not we're not even near correction po um, point if that's what has begun here so just keep in mind um we may have a a tough winner ahead of us um watch that closely let's take a look at the spy now spy 
is going to suffer technical damage as well today. Notice we have this pattern in the chart now that is, well, not a favorable pattern here. We've got that little shoulder right in there. And now we're breaking that 50-day uh, moving average here this morning. Um, not just breaking it, but crushing it this morning. And we have, are now officially breaking trend. So any bounce back, we're, we're going to want to watch this area right up in here, this resistance zone of price resistance and moving average resistance right in through here. We'll want to watch that carefully if we do bounce back. And I do suspect we probably will. We'll catch some kind of relief rally and bounce back. Now, what we want to see probably is a good strong relief rally that brings us back up into that resistance level. Um, another possibility, guys, is instead of really bouncing, what we do is we just kind of consolidate. And there may be a reason to think that a consolidation is possible with the uncertainty of this this creates a liquidity crisis in china and um which means that there could be more downside pressure in um those asian markets creating pressure other places here in the us and europe so there is that possibility we also have to consider that we've got an fomc meeting around the corner and what that could potentially mean in here so a little bit of uncertainty well not even i'm not going to say a little bit quite a little bit of uncertainty going on here in the market <clears throat> now i think it would be um virtually impossible for us to just move straight down toward our 200 day moving average here in the spy. But unfortunately, guys, we have created a, a monster here, um, having pushed these indexes so high. And if we were to fail at a lower high, I don't expect it's going to be a very smooth transition if we do come down here. But I think we might be setting up for that potential possibility. So keep that in mind. We've really switched over to more of a bearish look in these indexes. So any rally back, we have to be suspect and be watching for that potential continuation failure to the downside. And then if we take a look at the QQQ, now QQQ has remained by far the strongest index out there and taking a look at this um, I don't think there's too many ways that you could draw this much differently than this and um, suggest uh, suggesting now that we have broken trend this morning we will gap down below that this morning and we will be pushing down into this support level that bigger support level where we could certainly find price support so let's that watch this range right in here we could push into here and bounce we could push on down into here and then potentially bounce let's take a look at our moving averages and notice that we will be at least at this moment it's suggesting that we will in one fell swoop um, fail the 50-day moving average today so not a good sign um i of all the indexes to catch a bounce i think it would be the qqq um and it it is the strongest index that we have right now in the chart but certainly some technical damage showing up here um, in the queues and then iwm if you guys remember i suggested um, in last week's uh, videos that I kind of suspected IWM was going to retest its 200-day moving average. And this morning, we're not only going to test it, we're going to gap below it um, in that move as this downtrend in here continues. Now, of course, we've had this big major area of price support in IWM. I kind of suspect there is that possibility that we could move on lower here um, not saying we won't rally back, but move on lower. We'll test this down in here eventually. And then the question is going to be, will that hold? If that does not hold this next time, there is a big potential move to the downside here in IWM. So watch closely for that. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Now our VIX, unfortunately, is likely going to gap substantially this morning to the upside and um, you can see we've got this big move showing up here in the vix this morning pushing us up and i suspect there is a chance that we could 
maybe even push right through that downtrend, creating a significant level of fear in the market. And that will create that higher low in here that I've been talking about. I've mentioned that this 20 handle was gonna be an important level in the chart. And we closed up here on Friday above that 20 handle. And I suspect that's gonna to continue to be kind of an important level. If we get and stay above there, and then hold this area as support, we could have some real trouble. That's breaking that big downtrend, holding it as support. And I think that's where we could really see the bear come into play. So watch that carefully if that does occur. I'm not trying to predict that. I'm just suggesting that that possibility now does exist. Let's take a look at our T21 22. Now T2122 on Friday was signaling to me that we still had more downside here to go in the market. This morning we're likely to reach an oversold condition here in the market. So that gives us that little bit of hope, that hope in here that as we gap down, although it may be very, very punishing for a lot of folks, we'll gap down into there and then we might be able to catch that possibility of a bullish bounce here in that chart. So you'll want to watch that pretty closely if we can kind of catch that bounce um, coming up in here, a relief rally. But once again, that relief rally is likely going to be short-lived because we're going to slam into some resistance levels in the chart, unless something major changes. And by the way, guys, the futures continue to fall. Right now, Dow futures are suggesting down more than 600 points in the market. So we're going to get this move all over night really punish folks that held on or bought in to uh, the dip last week and um, it's going to be kind of a rough morning for a lot of folks so be kind of careful and, and by the way guys just try not to panic try not to be in that panic mode trading because um, that's where you make some really poor um, decisions so watch that carefully then let's take a look at our t2107 now t2107 on friday was signaling more potential trouble ahead because we kept sinking where we've now only got 42 percent of our stocks holding above their 200 day moving average not a good sign this downtrend continues to show lots of heaviness in the market lots of pressure pulling us down so watch that carefully and i suspect on our t2101 this morning we're likely going to see a pretty substantial increase in market breadth here on that selling wave. Now, this was hopefulness into Friday because we really didn't see that big push in market breadth when we uh, were kind of wandering around um, in the day, but I suspect this will spike up pretty substantially on that selling wave today. And um, that's where we start running into some significant trouble as the confidence in the market gets shaken and traders are really starting to feel the pinch now. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we don't have a whole lot going on on our calendar for this morning. We do have one thing to pay attention to. Whoops, sorry, picked up the blog there. Um, as you can see, we have the housing market index today at 10 a.m. Eastern. Certainly has that potential and it could be a market moving event, but I think most of what we're going to be focusing on is this potential big default of Evergrande. It's a Lehman, a Lehman Brothers style default and it could create a liquidity crisis over there in China and add to just really trickle out around the world um, as that pressure happens. And we're seeing that here this morning. U.S. dollar is spiking higher this morning, and that's because of the weakening of, of the yen um, with this liquidity crisis. We're seeing bonds selling off hard this morning as those currency reverberations begin to happen on a major default like this. Let's take a look um, later on this week. And remember, we've got housing starts here and we're gonna begin the FOMC meeting tomorrow. 
So we have that uncertainty of the FOMC and that, uh, you know, the committee members talking about taper. Um, so we're going to have to watch this and we've got the presser after at 2.30 tomorrow. So keep that in mind. We're going to get existing home sales numbers and the petroleum status tomorrow morning. And then Thursday, jobless claims and the PMI flash. That could be important for us on Thursday. And then keep in mind, we're going to have just a parade of Fed speakers coming in after that FOMC. So watch that Jerome Powell is speaking at 10. And we've got those new home sales coming in. So we've got a pretty active day, a uh, week that could really keep us on our toes here in the market. So um, be, be careful, be thoughtful. Um, on how you progress um, into this week. It could be really challenging. Then on the earnings calendar today, guys, we have 70, 17 companies listed, but the vast majority of those are unconfirmed reports. As a matter of fact, the only report that I'm going to mention as a potential notable this morning would be Lennar. Lennar will be reporting this today, so you'll want to keep an eye on that. And um, it reports after the bell today, so watch that closely. But we've got kind of a troublesome pattern in here with this double top high, that failure below, breaking support, rallying back into resistance of that support break. Um, we have a broken trend in here, a little bit troubling here on the Lennar report and with the inflation numbers and the housing um, uh, numbers starting to show a little bit of stress. This could be, um, this could be an interesting report today, so watch carefully for that. So with that, everyone, um, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up? But before we do that, if you could do me a really quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, and if you feel that these videos are helpful to you in planning your day, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And then also, if you uh, feel the video is worthy, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, as you can see, guys, I don't get involved in the hype. I don't get involved in the prediction. I really want to look at the technicals of the chart. And the technicals were telling us we had problems, that we had some issues and things to worry about. And you can see how that can be beneficial because you can um, craft yourself into a portfolio where you can get some hedge, you can get some short, you can do some things to offset that potential risk because mornings like this, are very, very punishing to those who aren't ready for it. And hopefully you can see this kind of work is a little bit, well, it's very effective and can really help you um, in your portfolio. So I wanna say thanks to everyone who does support the channel, um, who does you know, click that share button and share this video out to your social media feed. I truly, truly appreciate it. And a huge shout out to those folks that are supporting the channel with the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Now today, talking about some potential trades, I gotta tell you is a little bit tenuous because we don't know what happens next. This shoe dropping today, um, could could create, there's every reason to believe that we could, because of such a big gap down, we could get those bulls re-engaging in here and trying to push back up. However, there's still that painful process that we could have a lot of people long, that got long, buying the dip um, on uh, Friday, and that possibility that there are a lot of folks that um, will be forced to sell this morning. So we could see some additional selling here first thing this morning. So we're going to have to watch and be very, very careful, which makes it very, very difficult to um, provide too many ideas in here for trading. Um, there's likely going to be a significant amount of pain. There is also that possibility, guys, that um, we could um, see a little bit of a short squeeze if um, or some short profit taking. When we gap down like this, uh, folks that are short, particularly with options, get a huge implied volatility burst. 
and you'll see a lot of folks just immediately cover those short positions this morning. That can help create that bounce or that little bit of a rally, but we'll have to watch that closely because I suspect we're likely to see some substantial whipsaws in this day because the emotion is so high. So be really, really careful. Now there are some places out there, and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell anything. You might wanna start looking toward some of those defensive sector stocks. Um, defensive sector stocks are a place where you can catch um, a nice dividend yield um, on stocks. You know, I've been mentioning stocks like Philip Morris, and that's going to get hammered here this morning. And a lot of these are going to get drawn down um, this morning. But take a look at some of those. You might want to take a look at um, some safe haven plays like gold. Gold trying to push up just a little bit this morning. You can also see gold and silver and some of the precious metals get drawn down in a sales event like this and continue to draw down. So watch that closely. Um, look for those bounce places look for those little safety places in the market and unfortunately in a day like today um, we could even see some forced selling where folks will have to sell gold and silver stocks just to cover losses in other places so this is one of those things that can just pile on and get worse and worse so be kind of careful here in buying up the market. Now there are some charts in here that we're starting to look pretty good. Take a look at Intel. Intel showing that little inverted head and shoulders pattern here in this chart. Um, I'm watching this for a potential entry, but now this morning that really messes up this chart. If you take a look, I had a price alert right in here. It really kind of messes that up this morning as we break back down below our 50-day moving average. Kind of unfortunate um, where this is coming into play. We saw some of those energy stocks trying to perk up, um, but they're going to get slapped hard this morning, uh, pushed down strongly. So why? Watch that closely. I know there were a lot of folks hoping that that was going to be the place. And also, we saw those financials trying um, last week to hold support, and now they're getting hit hard today. So uh, just be really, really careful. I would, I would suggest that if you're short, be watching those for potential covering points to, to close those trades for profits. I know I'll be doing that this morning. And then also um, other ways that you can look at this market. Take a look at a like the QQQ. If you're an option trader, this big gap down creating all of this implied volatility spike. Um, watch that closely as that continues to sell. We might be able to find that point and get some nice credit spreads with high volatility. We can get some nice credit spreads with really good premium in them for that potential bounce back. And I'll probably be looking at those this morning as well. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best. I know this morning could be a little bit shocking. It could be a little bit painful, but hopefully you've been listening to some of those warnings. You've been protecting yourself in the market. And um, I just want to wish you all great success. Be very, very careful. Try not to panic. Let's focus in on the price action. Remember, if we panic, we're gonna miss an opportunity. Stay focused into the price action. Do, try to avoid that emotion. Just really look at those technicals on the charts. See if you can take advantage and exploit this current price action that's created all this emotion. So with that, everyone, have a fantastic day. I wanna wish you all the very, very best. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning.